after he was appointed uh, or then was it another nation I don't know mm -hmm. as late canon well people said the tradition in, at the government school is that every principal must be a government gentleman and over the years they had been you know, asking Mr. Lashita, what are you going to take this scholar? What are you going to take this scholar? <laughs> and he would, he would just ignore them. And uh, sometimes he would say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in that line, you know. Then he never knew that I would, I was praying for him. <laughs> <laughs> and so, when eventually the bishop realized that this man was not going to take the scholar, the bishop instituted the lay canonship. <laughs> They were the first set of lay canons in the St. George's Cathedral. And the interesting thing is, when, they, when he became lay canon, I think people had the idea that this man should preach. Gamma school principals are generally reverend gentlemen, so he should preach. And they wouldn't believe it. Mr. Lashite has preaching assignments every now and again. <laughs> Men's union, um, um, anything concerning a men's organization in the various churches, they would ask him to preach. And even right now, um, a, a primary school, a primary independent school, which has some sort of partnership with the Silo Gamma School because of the assistance they render to that school. Went to bid him farewell. And after they had done everything, they said to him, Mr. Lashite, next year, we have already put you down for us to for you to serve as our preacher. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a year's notice to bid for that primary school. So this is the good thing, you know, we've come to learn that in anything you're doing, you should put God first, and he has never failed us. <coughs> he doesn't fail when you put him first in your life, because like, uh, as we know, our God is a jealous God, and so he doesn't take second place. When you give him second place, he backs out and he leaves you alone, you go and do any, everything with, uh, with yourself, eventually you'll come back because you'll find out that you will not be able to do it on your own. There is that, um, that unseen God, God is unseen. We, 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 we know him by faith. And without faith, we cannot please him. So it's not, it's not tangible, you cannot see, you cannot hold him. But by faith, you believe he exists, and he does. He does exist. And so through that, we come to learn that this God, you have to put him first in your life. And when you put him first in your life, believe you me, he takes <coughs> charge. He takes control. When the invitation came for us to make this tour, I always talk about this tour, because um, this is first in history. I've never heard about anybody, not even principal. Principal is out of the way, but I've never heard about anybody on the retirement going for going on the top. I think Mr. Lashita is the first person. And by that the fact that I'm the unseen high, I also joined him. <laughs> Where are we going to? So, 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 so. And I said, okay, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to lift this up to my papa. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell him that this is what 
the Alumni Association of America has organized, and I just want him through the power of the Holy Spirit to just take charge. And this is what he has done. In all of the three places we've gone, the hand of God has been very, very visible. And we are very grateful and thankful. Because I believe that all you have done, you have not done on your own, you've done through the help of God. So I want to thank you. Um, concerning Mr. Lashita, I will say a few words to get on the field again. Um, I taught at the grammar school. That's my link with the grammar school. But before teaching at the grammar school, the grammar school was one school I loved. I loved the grammar school. I, um, we were three girls, and so we did not have any bother to go to the grammar school. But I just loved the grammar school. And those of our friends that were in River First Village who were attending the, the grammar school became friends with us. And, they used to tell us about this great school. So when I wanted to do my sixth form, I applied to three schools. The Silo Grammar School, the St. Edwards, and then Albert Academy. I had a cousin then who was also an educationist, and I presented my choice the three schools to him. And he said, you know what? I know um, grammar school is a good school, but for now, it is Albert Academy, especially in the arts area. So go to Albert Academy. And I did not regret it. I did not regret it at all, at all, at all. I went to the Albert Academy, sixth form, and in those days, is there any academician here? Sixth form. Okay, good <laughs> talk. And uh, in those days, that is, uh, 68 to 70. Believe you me, Albert Academy was an exemplary school. <laughs> I always remember when we had our A-level results, we were 28 in class. So this was an ideal time. 28, and all 28 of us went to Fuabi College. Nobody failed. It was a good school. <laughs> So I did not regret it, but I still had in mind the grammar school. So when I finished college, before I finished college, I wanted to be a nurse, not a teacher, because I just love uh, these um, uh, metals in the car. That was what I guess, the metals. And going through Connors Hospital, um, I would always admire them. And I would always say to myself, I want to become a little. But then in those days, you had to go to the United Kingdom to study nursing. It was free. All you had to do was to, to find your um, airfare to, to London. And then automatically you enter in college. But of course, the money was not there. So because the money was not there for me to go to England, I changed over, switched over to teach him. And believe you me, I never regretted being a teacher. I never regretted. I always thought to myself, I could not have done a better job than teaching. Because you know what? We impacted. It is great joy to see your students from time to time. I remember 10 years ago, we came to the Washington um, the, the, the group at um, in Washington, the Salo Gama School Group, they invited us about 10, 12 years ago, two, 10 years ago, 2008. And when I came, a student of mine whom I did not remember at all, I'm not good at it like Mr. Rashite. <laughs> so she came from Virginia. Then the dance was at. Um, DC. So she came. And when I went, she came. I entered. Immediately I sat down on the table. This lady came to me and said, Mrs. Lashite, how are you, ma? I said, I'm fine. She said, do you remember me? I said, no. I said, I was one of your students at 
I was principal at Bay Memorial for my recruitment. So, uh, so you are one of my students at Bay. No, at Roosevelt, because she attended Roosevelt. I said, I really don't believe I said, well, I'm going to give you a homework. You have to remember Minister Mrs. Ratchet. I said, okay, you hold on, I will try. Well, I was on it. Was the dance, I was thinking, who is this lady? Eventually, at the end of the dance, I said to her, no, I don't remember, but you know what? Just give me your telephone number. Tomorrow morning, I'll phone you to tell you who you are. <laughs> and she gave me a gift. And she said to me, I came purposely to this dance because of you. Because of you, when I heard that you are the seller, she said, you call me. I say, well, it's a shame that I cannot give you my But just give me your phone number. And you know what God did for me? That was what wake, woke, well, woke me up the next day, the Sunday. I just tapped her key and I said, you know what? I know this girl now. <laughs> this is one of the three girls who are my exemplary students. All of them were able to do a uh, proceed to college, to a college. One came to, she came to the U.S. because of the results they had. And they were exemplary. And I said to her, I know you now. <laughs> so, who am I? I said, you are Anita Samuel. For her to know that I really know, knew that uh, she was Anita Samuel, I said, you know what? You were three in the group. And I used to call you the three musketeers. Am I going to and she started laughing. So I felt so good. You know, for her to leave everything. And I said, oh, if I had not impacted that guy, she would never have come to see me. So this is the joy we enjoy as teachers. When we see our students, we feel so good. Of course, not every one of them will be at the top. We have some at the bottom, but what happens? Those at the bottom will never come forward. So you don't even see them again. But those at the top will always come forward and will always show appreciation, just as all of you are doing that to Mr. Ratchete. So I went to the grammar <coughs> school. I did not hesitate to go to the grammar school. I again applied to three schools, and all three schools accepted me, but I decided to take the grammar school instead. So I went there and had a very good time. I got there and this Miss June Wilson, she promised to be here. Yes, this yes. Morning. yes. Is she here? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, June, June where are you? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, we were at the grammar school together. Oh yes, we were at the grammar school together and we had such a good time. I was not going to say that I'm going to be she doesn't know. What happened? Yeah, no. What happened? <laughs> At that time, when we were at the grammar school, <coughs> we used to celebrate our birthdays. Not so? But it was a female teacher, though, not a male teacher. They don't have money. <laughs> so, when we had our birthdays, we used to celebrate our yeah, celebration. And we would serve everybody on the staff. The staff was not very good then. So my own birthday came. And um, I remember very well. I cooked cassava leaves. And um, um, the cassava leaves was just, I mean, so, 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 so delicious. <laughs> and all of us ate. And Mr. Alashite ate that cassava leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and that cassava
the VP, the VP then was a Solomon Bella. Going to Pakaba, going to VP and all that. I said, no, this time is not going to work. You know why? Because God is in control. And later on, we heard that this man who had the skyscraper went to the VP for help so that uh, his, uh, his building could not be demolished. And he said to him, it's out of my control. Mm -hmm. It has to be out of your control because God is in control. Mm -hmm. And so the demolition took place. Mm -hmm. It was a massive demolition. Mm -hmm. You know that I was saying to him, I said, okay, we did not even know that there were so many buildings on that land mm -hmm. until we saw the video. Because, yes, it was. We saw the video, and believe you me, without any exaggeration, it was well over a hundred of houses. Beautiful houses. With lawns and gardens and very beautiful houses. Very, very beautiful houses. Over a hundred. I'm talking about the finished buildings, because there were no more of unfinished buildings. And that is one thing um, I think the old boys are very grateful for. Because if Mr. Rashite and the others had not done it, that land would have been in Ghana. The only land that grammar school would have got would have been up to the market. Because they were, the, the, the encroachers would come and say, no grammar school, I don't have grammar school. I don't have grammar school. I don't have school. I don't have grammar school. They even made the attempts to come to the staff quarters at one time. So he did it. So if you are rejoicing and if you are happy to celebrate Mr. Rashite, you have to because he did a big job to get back in that <laughs> And of course, if you want, he, he probably will elaborate on that if he wants to, but the um, um, change of status, that was another fight. And if I watch girls are here, which uh, I'm also an, an, an Awogan, if you are here, let me tell you that if you want to be, um, and if, if, you have, if you want to have that independent status, you want to go into <laughs> private education, you should be ready to fight. It was a fight, a battle, but a game, God intervened. And so on the day that um, we were celebrating the new president, Gamma school was marching into that status. So that was how it came about. So this is the man who gave his best, his passion, his commitment, his integrity. Eh? Integrity. Integrity. Eh? Sometimes when I, when I hear people talking about integrity, I say, look you. Well, that's Mr. Lashita what integrity is. Integrity. He does it, he doesn't compromise. What is good for the goose is good for the gander. He doesn't compromise. That's right. <laughs> Not even to his wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he does it. So, you know, uh, so, so, so let me just summarize now. Let me just end now. When the retirement started, I mean the momentum started to build up, all the radio stations wanted to talk to this man, Mr. Rashid, the television stations. I guess you had the one at 19th, but one um, in August, in, in very August. And um, that one, somebody phoned me from England. No, I hate you so much.